Welcome back friends. In the previous video we have just talked about how uh, the virus particles are released from the cell, from the host cell, right? And we have seen this process for uh, those naked virus particles because you remember there are two types of virus. One is the naked viruses and another one is the enveloped viruses. Now generally all the virus particles that are generated inside the host cell are of this naked virus type. They are having two important components. One is the genetic component surrounded by uh, the protein or capsid part, right? Capsid part is protecting uh, them from the outer environment, right? So that is the actual goal. And genetic component is uh, everything for these virus particles. Now for these naked viruses, after producing a lot of these naked viruses inside uh, of this host cell, they will start secreting some of the chemical components and it, e it eventually lies with uh, the cell lysis cell lysis process and cell lysis pathway and the host cell eventually lies and all the virus particle will be released. So after the lysis, virus particles, virus particles are released. So virus particles are released outside, right? as you can see in this picture. Now what will occur in case of the formation of the enveloped virus, right? Now remember, I, I always want to tell you this important fact is that uh, in all this host cell, in all the kind of host cell, if I draw another host cell, uh, after doing all these different things, uh, uh, this in, uh, engulfment entry and then a replication of the DNA and providing all this thing, it ultimately produces the naked DNA virus which contains only two important components. One is the DNA segment, uh, DNA not, not DNA, actually nucleic acid segment which is the genetic code and the protein component right so all of the viruses that are generated are of are of this naked virus or naked viruses or naked virion or naked virus particle naked virus particle right so during this process none of this virus are different from each other all of them are naked type of virus but it's the type of release that is uh, telling that what kind of virus we'll be talking about right so all the viruses that are generated are of naked virus inside the host cell cytoplasm. It's only during the release it differentiates from the naked virus to the enveloped virus, right? So the process or the production of enveloped virus is totally dependent on how the virus particles release from the host cell, right? So that's a very, very important point and we are going to see that, right? So for example, uh, in this case, let's say this is the condition of the host cell. So if I draw the host cell membrane, uh, I can draw something like that. Now in this host cell membrane, uh, during this process, uh, and inside, inside all this part is the cytoplasm of the host cell, and inside this part, uh, all the time, this virus particles or virus proteins start to form, right? We know that after the DNA replication process or, or, or RNA uh, production and all these processes, it will produce the viral proteins, right? So, a lot of viral proteins are generated and maximum of these viral proteins are of structural nature. We also know that they are of structural in nature. Now all the structural viral proteins are made to provide the capsid structure so that uh, the nucleic acid material remains uh, safe inside, right? So, but some of these materials for this type of viruses, uh, some of the proteins are generated and those proteins, let's say these are the proteins, they are bring and attach to the cell membrane, some region of the cell membrane. So this is a very important part. Sorry change the color yeah so this proteins these viral proteins that are made are bring onto the surface of host cell membrane so this is host cell membrane right so bring these particles onto the host cell membrane right and these proteins are made by virus remind you these are the viral proteins okay and inside the cell as i have uh, uh, draw in this picture the naked virus particles are already being generated. So inside this cell, naked viral particles are generated. So this is the naked viral particle and inside there we are having our DNA, right? So let me draw the DNA, uh, our nucleic acid, let me draw it like that. So our nucleic acid is there, right? So this is the naked virus, right? So this particle along with this nucleic acid as well as the protein uh, or capsid part is called as nucleocapsid. Right, so this is called as 
nucleo capsid because it is having two part one is the nucleic acid inside another one is the capsid outside so combined together we call them nucleo capsid so they produce this nucleo capsid inside after production of this nucleo capsid they bring this nucleo capsid in right so they bring it in so as they are bringing it in, this nucleocapsid will interact with the viral particles present onto the surface of the cell. Okay, so onto the surface of host cell, we are having virus particles which are eager to bind with this nucleocapsid, right? So nucleocapsid will bind with these proteins. So let me draw it here again. So it will be arranged like that. So let's say this is a membrane and these are the proteins, viral proteins that are generated and this nucleocapsid is kind of interacting with this part and inside this nucleocapsid is DNA or material. So here are different sections of protein linkage or interaction between the viral proteins present in the host cell membrane and the nucleocapsid. Right? This interaction is very, very important. After this interaction is set place, they are kind of pinching the section of the cell membrane out along with this virus particle during the release. That is very, very important step. Right? So after this, what we can see is that they are kind of taking, sorry, they are kind of taking this particle along with it during this movement right so here will be here it is our particle and genetic component and after another generation time we get this and what we get is what we get is the virus particle material and surrounding it will be The membrane or the cell membrane and obviously it is it will have so let me draw this proteins it will have some of the viral protein onto this membrane surface right so this one will be called the enveloped virus enveloped virus now you can see how enveloped virus are generated now the envelope that is present, that's the whole idea of drawing all this picture is that the envelope of enveloped virus it's very bad envelope virus is generated from host cell membrane that is a very very important concept now this enveloped virus of uh, this so the envelope of this virus is generated from the host cell membrane that is the actual point so all the virus that are being generated inside the host cell at the very beginning are of the naked virus type right now if they are released by lysing the cell. We call them naked DNA virus because they will lack the membrane. If they produce this nucleocapsid uh, proteins and if they produce those extra proteins and embed them onto the surface of the host cell and then uh, release via taking up some region of the host cell membrane with it, it will be called the enveloped virus. Okay, that's how enveloped virus are being released from the cell, right? Remember. Uh, envelope virus means we, what we get is this, sorry, what we get is our virus particle inside our nucleic acid material, outside it will have our cover. So this is the enveloped virus, right? And we get this envelope from the host cell after the release, right? So that is the funda of how they are released from the host cell and I hope that's helpful. Thank you. And I forgot to mention this process of release of this enveloped virus is called budding. Right? Because it, it looks like budding. That segment is there and the membrane is pinching out. So it's, it looks like 
budding in this case. So this process is called budding of virion or virus particles. Right? So that's it. And I hope that's helpful. Thank you.